All right, it's right there. I've been able to travel a lot of cool places for this job especially, but there are a lot of places I've never gotten to see. I've never been to a really big telescope. I worked at some big telescopes, but never a big telescope. And this weekend, I am setting off on my first, who knows, maybe my only trip ever to see this telescope. Here's a picture of the camera uh, that we took uh, a year ago when it was uh, still being constructed in California. I have been thinking about this survey for my entire career, this telescope, this facility. There is something about going to a place and touching it and seeing it and experiencing being there that will be very special. In other news, we've had a couple of nice bits of uh, media. Back in the spring, the college published a cool article about us in their magazine. Big date in the night sky. Here's me and some students. And recently in the alumni magazine, cool thing, stars, telescope. An astronomical amount of data, yes. All right, I don't know what else to say. Let's go to Chile. Is that a good deal? I'll let you decide. horses. Okay, we're going from sea level to 9,000 feet. It is not near as high as some of the other observatories, Mauna Kea, 14,000 feet kinds of places. It is high enough that you will feel it. I used to fly from Seattle and go to Apache Point, so that's sea level to 9,200 feet in one day, and that night is a rough night to sleep. You are out of breath. You feel completely wiped out like you've just run a marathon and you haven't done anything. So we're only gonna be at the summit for a few hours. So I don't think it's gonna be that bad. But the old adage, and this is totally true, is that altitude sickness can affect anybody. Even people who have been up on the mountain a dozen times, altitude sickness can get you. So obviously I'm extremely excited to see the telescope. It's under construction, it's nearly complete. I had the chance to actually go visit the camera in California last year, almost exactly a year ago, and it was stunning to see. So I am beyond excited to see the Rubin Observatory tomorrow. All right, good morning, I'm dressed. My bag is packed, got all my gear water bottle, I'm ready to go to a mountain. Let's go see a telescope. Ah, exciting day, let's go.
tiring. The view's good though. I was very impressed with the coating chamber. Having that on site is so cool. A lot of people on our tour commented on this and I totally agree. The aesthetic of the observatory is just really awesome. It doesn't just look like a normal telescope. But everything's just a lot bigger than I'm used to from other telescopes. So I worked at a three and a half meter telescope. So the primary mirror was three and a half meters. That's the size of the secondary mirror. That's the size of the little mirror that we saw in the box. All right, here's a nice looking shed. In there, primary mirror. Oh man, they even got a cool floor mat. Such good branding, I love this. Okay, we had some quick lunch. The bus is here. This is the Reuben Canteen, little cafeteria. Now back to reality.